Okay you guys, in this short little video we are looking at the properties of simple covalent compounds. You need to learn these, you need to recall these and you need to be able to take them and apply them to other situations as well. Good luck guys, this is only a short little video but it's still important. Covalent bonding is a sharing of electrons and it happens between non-metals. Here are some simple covalent compounds. I would expect that you can, with relative ease, draw and name each of these. If you can't, I have made a separate video walking you through how to do them, but it is well worth practicing as this is something you're going to be asked to do a lot. Here we have water, and if you already noticed that I keep drawing water with this bent structure, I will explain why that is in a different video. Now, the oxygen on water is a little bit or delta negative, and the hydrogen on water is a little bit or delta positive. And hopefully you know that opposites attract, so positives and negatives are attracted to each other. So here we have our attraction from our delta positive hydrogen to our delta negative oxygen. And these are the attractions that keep water as a liquid or as a solid. These are the intermolecular bonds and intermolecular bonds are very weak. In the case of water, which has a large number of special properties, the intermolecular bonds are hydrogen bonds, which also have a number of special properties. The bonds between the hydrogen and the oxygen within a water molecule are the intramolecular bonds, and these are very, very strong. And the fact that there are weak bonds between molecules, but strong bonds within molecules, is the, the factor, the important factor, that leads to the properties of simple covalent compounds. The properties you need to be aware of is that it has a low melting point and a low boiling point. Because these bonds here, the intermolecular bonds, are very weak. So they don't require a lot of energy to break them, so not a lot of heat is needed to melt or boil them. They can dissolve in water, polar molecules can dissolve in water because of the delta positive and the delta negative. And they do not conduct, and this is because there are no ions that are free to move. <laughs> 